Alrighty, welcome back to Unreal Engine ND. So what we are going to do is we left off with the interfaces. So what we need to do is actually apply the damage. So on Wukong character .cpp, let me close out the .h. Don't think we're going to need that. On right weapon overlap. So see so right weapon overlap what we need to do is we need to come in here and we need to make sure that the sweep result has hit an actor so we need to do if and we need to do is, is valid then is valid then we need to do a the sweep result dot get actor so we need to do is valid sweep result dot get actor. We need to make sure that it's going to hit something. And if it does, what we are going to do is we are going to take this melee interface and the debug code. I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to place it inside here. So now what we need to do is remove apply damage because we're actually going to apply the damage now what we need is a u gameplay statics so let's come up here and we need to type in kismet come up here to the header we need to include Kismet, and then the game play statics. So we'll go ahead and do that. And on right weapon overlap. And what I am going to do is I am going to copy what I have in my other project and paste it inside here. So apply damage to enemy. You need to do you gameplay statics apply damage sweep result dot get actor and of course the weapon damage and get controller this and then the u damage type is static class so let's just do a float const we'll just do weapon damage equals let's say we just do 20 damage Okay, so this apply damage, you can see this is the blueprint one, the damage actor, base damage, uh, and scatter, the damage causer, and of course the damage type. That is the apply damage, this is the blueprint one. This is exactly what we are doing here, apply damage. The actor, the weapon damage, the controller, and of course this, which is this object, and which is the Wukong object, and the U damage type. Now, the weapon damage, we just hard-coded 20.f. You can go in and, and change whatever you need. If you have other things that will add damage, like any potions that you can take, you can, uh, you can add a function and then just call that function like in, inside here. Oops. Call it inside here and just do like plus potion damage or something like that. But let's just keep it simple for now and we can do that stuff later so and you can take this 20 damage and uh, create that in the header file which we'll do that at the end if you want to try that on your own but i'm going to do that at the end to actually show people how to do that so now that we have this Let's go ahead and build this just to make sure everything is looking good. And then we'll jump into the enemy.h header. So that looked all good. Let me jump into the enemy.h header of my other project. Now, in the enemy.h header, we have the override melee hit interface, the melee hit implementation. What we need to do is we need a take damage. 
So what we are going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this from another project. We need a virtual void take damage float damage amount damage event the controller and the actor. Now this take damage is uh, if you look it up on blueprints it's the same thing except for we're doing it in C++. So let's go ahead and create a definition for this generate definition. That is the take damage. I'm going to remove this right here. First we need to do uh, actually what we need to do is on the enemy health you have here health and max health but if I remember correctly I did not yeah so what we need to do is we need to actually initialize that so let's go to health we're going to initialize it with a hundred and we're going to initialize max health with a hundred as well. So now when uh, the game starts up, uh, the enemy is going to have a hundred health. You can change that inside the blueprint. So the take damage we want to do if health minus damage amount from right here take damage the damage amount is less than or it equals zero well you want to do the death of the enemy so we'll just do screen debug text that's just the custom shorthand that I did to plug this in and then you say enemy died this is where you would play like the montage or actually create a enemy death function and then put all your logic in there what you need to do to clean up the enemy class so we do an else statement else you want to do health minus equals damage amount here uh, health minus damage mount and you also need because it says right here no return statement and function return a non void so what we need to do is just say return damage amount and I believe that is it. Let me go ahead and build this and let's see if we get any errors. If we do, we need to fix them. Build succeeded. So the build succeeded. Let's go ahead and see if this will actually work. I might have forgotten something. If I did, I'll figure it out. Let's go ahead and play. So when you're in the editor and play, if you start it, you can just hit Shift F1 to get out of there. Let's look for the Chimera Blueprint. Click on Chimera Blueprint, click on Details, go down here to Search, and type in Health. So it initialized it with the 100.100. .100. So now if we come up to the enemy and we take a swing, as you can see, 80 damage. Not, not 80 damage, 20 damage, and now you got 80 health. You got that, and you got that. So let's go ahead and close this out. And I wonder if I did the enemy died. Yes. So let me go ahead and replay this so let's go ahead and details health 80 so as you can see the health is going down at the bottom right so now we got 20 health so if you look at the top left when we hit 20 it should say enemy died 
enemy died. So that is where you would put, like right here, enemy died. You have your health and blah, blah, blah. What you would do is you can create a function and call it enemy death. And then inside that logic, inside the function, you can put all the logic for like the enemy death, like the montage and, and destroying the actor and things like that. We will do that later. But right now, it looks like we can damage the enemy and kill the enemy. So that is really all there is to it to apply and damage. So what I want to do is because right here we have weapon damage. We have equals 20. So what we can do is come inside here into Wukong character right here we go to the private section and let's say uh, yeah let's just copy this paste that in there and this is going to be a float and when we say base damage and it's going to be a base <clears throat> it's going to be base damage because we can add more damage to it later like potions or any special abilities that you can apply damage or if you do like a, a skill tree or anything like that so let's go inside let me put that over here let me go inside here and initialize base damage so the run speed let's just say base damage of 20.f okay so let's jump back in and we'll just do a hot reload. Okay, so we'll do a hot reload. Let's bring up character. We got the Wukong blueprint, test dummy blueprint. Bring that up, come inside here. We should see that's camera, camera. Where's combat? Combat right there. A base damage, 20. So you can change that and do like 50. So now, and save it. So now if you come in and let's say we click on blueprint, click on heal, 50. So then it still does 20 damage. And the reason for that is because in the apply damage, apply damage, we take this out and then we just add this base damage so now when we come inside here we do a hot reload on this should do 50 damage so now we go to details health then we look at this and now it's got 50 damage and the next swing is should enemy should die yep enemy died in the top left in the green so that's all i have so that was uh, pretty simple that is how you apply damage and take damage and in the next video we're going to start working on the enemy actually attacking wukong and applying damage to wukong so we are going to go ahead and do that. And what we are going to do is we're going to keep it simple for now because in the behavior trees is where things really going to come together when you're doing attacking. But I just want to show people how to apply damage and take damage for the enemy and for Wukong. So that'll be in the next video. That'll be coming out here in a few days. Thank you and bye for now.